Welcome to Data Doctor's video, The Dates of Mr. E. Dates. Every school child has to memorize them. Official documents are organized by them. Genealogists rely on them. The big three are birth, marriage, and death. And the proper way genealogists record them is day, month, year. It seems straightforward enough, but the way dates are calculated changes, not just from BC to AD, but from geopolitical areas, religious groups, even daylight savings time. Are you from Europe? Then you write 3 7 19 and mean 3 July 2019. But if you're American, you mean March 7, 2019. Or is that 1919? Or 1819? What about going from the Julian to Gregorian calendar? In 1752, the first day of the year changed from March 25th to January 1st. And how about Quaker dates? They didn't record names of the month, but rather numbers. March was number one. 20D 11M 1750 meant 20 January 1750. Even after the switch to the Gregorian calendar, they still continue to count March as number one. The suggestion report for this group lists a wide range of issues, all of which leave Mr. E reeling. As he's discovered, where there's a human, there's a way to get it tangled. Mr. E died before his birth. He died at two weeks old and then had children. He married in 1831, but died in 1750. And then there are profiles with no dates at all. That's Mr. E on a typical Saturday night. But I digress. Some have relatives who show dates on their profiles, but some don't. No date profiles generate the largest number of suggestions, not just for this group, but overall. The most common error is the good old fashioned typo. But there's also misunderstanding how a particular community kept dates and the profile worker is relying on his or her way of dating. No available documentation makes many leave the birth, marriage, death fields blank. But the problem is, Mr. E wants a good date. He really, really does. <laughs>